I'm going to show you how you can get new house plants in a completely zero waste way and totally free. This is my pothos, better known as Devil's Ivy. It's got lots of lovely extra shoots hanging down, so I'm going to chop off one of these and propagate it. We're looking for these nodes. You could propagate any plant with nodes like this, so a Montestera, for example, using this method. It's got a node on each little leaf where the leaf stems from. So this one has one, two, three, four nodes. So I'm going to chop just above this one and then I will get four new plants. Just as an example, I did this a few weeks ago and a new leaf has grown from the cuts I made last time. So it won't stop growing when you do this. It shall carry on from the cut you made. I'm now just gonna clip each node off just next, just an inch or so from the node on each one to separate them and each one will become a new stem. Now just tidy it up a little bit, cut just maybe half an inch to an inch on the side of each one so you've just got the node and the leaf left. the new roots will grow from the node. So that's what we want to put in water. So grab any kind of container. I've got a little whiskey glass here. I find that works well because it's the right size. Pop each bit into water. You don't want any of the leaf in the water because it will start to rot, just the node. And here's one I did earlier. So as you can see, these have been here for about three weeks and now they've got some lovely little shoots coming from the nodes there. I did five of these and out of the five, four of them have sprouted. So I'm just gonna put that extra one that didn't sprout back in the water with the new ones to see if it will sprout with a little bit more time. Grab yourself a pot with some peat-free compost. That's important, peat-free, much better for the environment. And I'm just gently making a little hole and popping in the leaf with the roots sticking down as gently as you can. We don't want to harm the roots, but make sure the roots are about half an inch down and completely covered in soil. You could just put one in a plant and pot and that would sprout with just one plant and trail off. But because I want a nice bushy looking plant and I can also separate them later on, I'm gonna put them all in one pot. Give them a nice water in and pop them on a windowsill or somewhere and voila, you have a new plant. Give it a few weeks and these should be shooting. And within perhaps a couple of years, maybe a little bit longer, it will look like this gorgeous one. But it will look beautiful on its way to that nonetheless. Happy propagating. I wish you all the luck with it.